Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on my tours of cemeteries, gravesites, memorials, and final resting places of the famous and infamous people who are gone but not forgotten. A couple of days ago, I was in downtown Palm Springs, California to visit the star of actor Tab Hunter, who had just recently died. So before I head over to Forest Lawn in Cathedral City to visit the cenotaphs of actors George Nader and Rock Hudson, I thought I would show you their memorial stars in downtown Palm Springs. Their stars are just down the street, just a couple of blocks away from Tab Hunter's star. They both have stars next to each other. They were, uh, they were really close friends for decades. And from what I've read, George Nader and his partner of, I believe, 55 years, Mark Miller. Well, in case you've never seen it, this is uh, Sonny Bono's memorial statue here in downtown Palm Springs. Let me get a picture next to uh, Sonny Bono. Palm Springs is definitely all about the celebrities. I mean, it always has been. It really became famous because of all those celebrities. And uh, Sonny Bono was a, uh, a mayor here in Palm Springs before he died. So anyway, back to uh, George Nader and Mark Miller. So Mark Miller and George Nader were together for around 55 years. And uh, one of their closest friends for decades until he died was um, Rock Hudson. Now apparently, from, again, from what I've read, Mark Miller was uh, Rock Hudson's personal secretary from 1972 until the time of his death, which I, if I remember right, it was 1985, so over a decade. And I think they had already been friends for many years. I mean, Rock Hudson and George Nader had been friends since the, uh, the 50s. So it's kind of... Uh, fitting and kind of cool that uh, their stars are here together in uh, downtown Palm Springs, just uh, two stars away from each other. And um, I always wondered, about 10 years ago, I noticed the, um, the cenotaph in uh, Cathedral City, and I wondered, you know, who had placed it and why Cathedral City at uh, Forest Lawn Cathedral City. I'm gonna stand over here in the shade a little bit if I can. And uh, then for whatever reason, I was uh, reading about uh, Mark Miller who had died in 2015 and uh, discovered that uh, you know he had been partners with George Nader who was best friends with Rock Hudson. So the three of them have their names inscribed on a cenotaph wall in um, in Cathedral City at uh, Forest Lawn Cathedral City and I'm going to visit their cenotaph and show that to you as well but I wanted as long as I was here I thought uh, I would uh, show you their stars as well Rock Hudson owned a home here in the Palm Springs desert area for many years it was located in the Bermuda Dunes Country Club in Bermuda Dunes, which is one of the cities here in the Palm Springs, the greater Palm Springs uh, desert area. I remember reading that George Nader and Mark Miller owned a home in Palm Springs, and I know that uh, when Mark Miller died, he was living in a home in Cathedral City, which explains why their memorial cenotaph is located at uh, Forest Lawn in Cathedral City. I'm assuming that Mark Miller is the one responsible for the cenotaph and that he arranged for it before he died. All three men were cremated, but it is nice to have a place to visit, or a couple of places. The cenotaph and also their Palm Springs stars. Both actors were leading men at around the same time, the 1950s and 60s, but Rock Hudson became a superstar and continued acting until his death in the 1980s. Nader and Miller retired to the desert and Nader became an author. But Rock Hudson really became a major A-list superstar. From downtown Palm Springs, I'm gonna take Ramon Road 
east for about 10 to 15 minutes until I reach Cathedral City. On the right-hand side of the street on Ramon Road at the corner of Duval Drive is the Forest Lawn Mortuary where we'll find the cenotaphs of both actors George Nader and Rock Hudson. Forest Lawn Cathedral City is pretty small and it's pretty easy to find who you're looking for here. So from the front gates you'll see the fountain on the left and to find George Nader and Rock Hudson Cenotaph I'm going to go straight ahead until I reach the first corridor where I can make a left. Then I'm going to go a very short distance and make the next right. And then I'm going to go straight back until I see the office on the right hand side. Just past the office doors, also on the right hand side, is a wall of cenotaphs. And that's where you'll find the cenotaphs for actors George Nader and Rock Hudson, and George's life partner, Mark Lincoln Miller. I'll pan around here so you can get a little bit uh, more of an idea of what the uh, mortuary looks like. There are about a dozen famous people interred here, and I visited some of them in the past. I'll put those links down below this video in case you're interested in seeing them as well. As you know, I've been to a lot of cemeteries over the years, and I really haven't seen many cenotaph walls like this. In fact, I don't really remember seeing any walls like this in any of my travels. I think it's a really good idea, though, with more and more people choosing cremation over burials. It's a great way to have a memorial and a place for fans or just friends and family to visit and to remember the people who are no longer with us. As always, thanks for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this cemetery visit and tour, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that as well if you'd like to be alerted when I upload future videos like this one. And don't forget to leave your comments down below. And I will see you all next time.